It's one of these things where people say, you know, I, it's so hard to believe and I can't believe it, but it, it was kind of like doubly so because I was in my flat and it felt so distant from everything happening um, that I woke up the next morning and really had to try and like convince myself that it was real. <laughs> so strange, isn't it? Because now you kind of hand over the role, don't you as well? Do you feel sad to let it go? I really do, but I feel like I've made my peace with letting Diana go. I feel like I was so lucky to take her on the journey from like 16 to 28. It was an incredible arc and it does feel bookended, you know, where we left her at the end of season four. I feel like it makes sense for me to leave her at that part. And I'm so excited to see what Elizabeth does. For me, the, the thing that um, is going to be sad is to not be with these incredible people every day. I mean, it's crazy. We stopped filming a year ago now, but it still feels like I'm missing something every day when I'm not like <laughs> going into makeup at 6 a.m. and seeing Josh and that kind of thing. It's, it's strange to adapt to, yeah, not having these people in your life very suddenly, yeah. What is it like, Emma, for you to, to hear an actual member of the royal family speaking about, you know, you depicting what, his life, essentially? You know, when you're... Because it's fiction, it does feel incredibly far from the actual royal family. And in a way, you almost... Us as actors doing the series, we have to distance ourselves from it in a way in order to do our job well, because it is fiction, because we are creating these characters, because we're actors, as Harry says, because it's fiction. But at the same time to, yeah, when I watched that interview and I did feel, I felt moved by it and, and grateful for what he said, um, because it does, it, it means a lot to know that, yeah, that he can appreciate it for what it is and, um it's interesting that he said he would rather watch um, that than, yeah, hear the press. <laughs> and Emma, where, where's the Golden Globe going? You know what? That's such a good question. Um, I was talking about it with my flatmates yesterday. We wanted to try and put it in the most random place in the flat. We thought maybe above the sink next to the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> you could go around. I don't know. <laughs>